Hi, this is Michelle Tabers, and I just got a really great email with some fabulous questions. And I thought instead of just answering one person, I'll answer this on a video, and then anyone who's interested can get these responses. So I just have to apologize because I do not have a pro setup. I am not really capable of editing yet. I have to learn how to edit. So I just do everything on my iPhone, and I don't have a. I'm going to make a um, tripod, but I'm holding this with my hand. Anyway, probably you don't care, but I just, I wish my videos were more professional. Anyway, so um, this comes from someone who is interested in the pouring medium. Um, this is, it's October 7th. I was out of town. I just got the email today. But he said he has a show on October 17th. And if I start a piece with pouring medium, how long does it take to dry per coat? The weather where he is is in the 70s and 80s during the day and at night not less than 65 degrees. Do I have enough time to maybe do three coats and a finishing non-colored coat to gain the tri-dimensional effect? Well, it depends less on the temperature outside than on the humidity and if you have a dry climate you might be able to do it, but I I live by the coast here in Northern California, and um, if you watch my whole video series, the pouring medium coats are taking a long time to dry and clarify. They dry overnight, but then to fully clarify. So I wouldn't recommend if you have a show so soon trying to do it. I mean, yes, try to do it, but have some other work that you can show if that doesn't work out. Okay? So that was an excellent question, but it's all about humidity. If you live in a super dry, deserty area, I don't, and I never have, so I don't know how quickly, but I don't know where the how the humidity levels are where you live. So that would be... Um, I think we have, uh, I don't know what it runs around here. Yeah, I'll have to check the weather, but I'm going to guess 60 to 70% humidity because we're so close to the water. I'm just a couple miles from the bay. So then, I love this question. Do you think I can add small pieces of gold leaf immersed on a coat? Absolutely, that would be gorgeous. And you can use any kind of non-rusting leaf. Um, gold, obviously, most people use a composite gold because the true gold leaf is very costly and that will be fine. If you use a true silver leaf, it's liable to tarnish in uh, wet media, so that's just something to consider, but I haven't done it in a long time. I always use composite leaf just for the cost, so instead of silver, I used aluminum leaf and I had no problem. So. Uh, you'll have to do experiments if you want to use true silver, but you're not asking about that. I was just answering for anyone else who considers using metal leaf in acrylic work. Because of the water content in it, it can cause any kind of rusting or anything like that. Now, the next question is, can I draw with drawing ink on top of one coat and then do another coat on top of the drawing? I love, I really, um, I didn't get a chance to look at your pictures yet, but this just sounds like you're doing such interesting work. A drawing ink is different than an acrylic ink. I would advise using an acrylic ink because it's acrylic based. If you watched my video on the worst mistake acrylic painters make, all about the binding, how the molecules have to bind to each other. So that's really important. So if you're using a... Uh, an ink that is not acrylic based, you risk having it not bind properly to the surface below. So I would recommend using an acrylic ink. The other thing I learned the hard way about drawing inks is that some of them are not light fast. So you can have these gorgeous colors and then they fade, in my case, within a few weeks of laying them out on my table. I had some different gallery people and curators coming in. I just thought, why pack everything up every day? I'm just going to leave it out and set it out really beautifully for everyone. And I, each night, because at that time I was in a pretty industrial area close to a freeway, I'd cover them with plastic to prevent the soot from falling on them. But the light was what ruined them. 
and within three days I had these inks that had faded from a deep blue to sort of a lavender gray. So that